What's up guys? This is Dave with Gen 3D Tech. Today we're going to be looking at the Genix Titan GE Air Wireless. Let's check it out. Alright, well, this mouse was kind of not on my radar, but I did happen to see a couple reviews of it. Anyways, after watching those couple reviews, I had to check this mouse out. Um, one thing that it reminded me of is uh, back in the 90s, I, I had a Logitech mouse man that had three buttons. It's very similar shape, just a little flatter on the third button all the way to the right. Um, I'll shit, throw a picture up on the screen of what it looked like. But anyways, that mouse didn't even have a scroll wheel. Uh, I think I was playing Quake with that mouse, but uh, I remember thinking that, you know, I performed pretty good on that mouse. And I never actually, I know this mouse is supposed to be uh, almost an identical copy of a Coolmaster MM720. Um, but of course that mouse has a cable on it and Coolmaster has talked about having a wireless mouse, but well, they don't have one yet. And Zenix does. Um, so... Yeah, it was an interesting looking mouse, so I went ahead and ordered it. Um, I believe Zenix is a is a South Korean company. Yeah, I paid, I believe, $108 for it, and the only place you could find it is eBay. And I, I believe the price has actually come down into the 90s. Um, but one thing that's really nice is the shipping only took two days uh, to get all the way from Korea to here. Um, the other thing that I saw from the review and other comments from other people who purchased this is that the there's an adhesive problem w with the mouse feet and sure enough when i opened the box um the feet were actually already off the off the mouse after i watched the uh, uh fresh reviews review of this mouse um, one thing he did was put some um, lethal gaming gear skates for a vaxi on this he put the the bottom one on the top and the top one on the bottom. When I ordered this, I went ahead and just ordered a set of Vaxi skates, glass skates from Lethal Gaming Gear. The funny thing is I ordered them at the exact same time and that came from the States and it took an extra day um, than this mouse coming all the way from uh, Korea. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, I went ahead and put the skates on already. They're quite good. It's not perfect looking when you look at it, but it works perfectly. And there is quite the difference. So, you know, I mean, I did test it with the, with the skates. Uh, I just had to kind of press the ones that had fallen off. As long as you kept pressure on it, they would stay on there. But as soon as you'd um, just put it up, you know, on my mouse stand, they'd fall right off within a few minutes. Those skates are actually a uh, tiger either arc or ice skates I'm, I'm not sure which one but they're they're definitely tiger skates which are pretty good skates uh, i wouldn't have bothered to change it if the adhesive had stayed on there uh, i did uh, complain to the seller and he did give me a 15 dollars refund so if you bought this mouse and um, you're having problems with the skates you know you might mention that and maybe you can get a refund too get some of it back because it's kind of ridiculous um, um, <laughs> to spend that much money on a mouse and have the feet fall off right away. It's not even a case of you using this mouse for six months, a year, and then the skates start to fail. No, I mean, they're, they're failing instantly. You know, as soon as you open the box, bam, they were off. And that's just un unacceptable in my opinion. However, with these skates right here, you do end up getting a really good mouse and it is better with the glass skates, I think. Now, as far as the shape, I mentioned, you know, this mouse reminds me of the old Logitech three button mouse man, but that was flat right there on the, so this gives you a place for your, your finger right there. This kind of reminds me of like a hockey puck, you know, it's short and, f and stubby and fat, but it fits really interestingly in your hand. Uh, I've never felt a mouse shape like this before. I saw the, uh, the cool master version of this mouse and I thought it looked really weird. And I just didn't bother trying it. But when I saw the, the review for this mouse, I thought that I'd just give it a try. And I'm glad I did because it's a very um, unique mouse. And uh, it actually works pretty good for me. 
Another great thing about this mouse is it's only 58 grams. I verified it with my scale and that is correct. It still has um, a little bit of RGB. It's got the Titan logo right there. And then the mouse wheel lights up. It's got a USB-C port for charging, which is nice. I always appreciate when a mouse has a USB-C port in the front. I think that should be standard. The uh, side buttons are actually really nice. They're in a, in a spot that's real easy to get to. And actually the, the mouse wheel is really nice. It's it's tactile and it's it's quiet. The switches are Omron and it has very nice spammable clicks to it. Of course, it's got a honeycomb shell, which um, this particular honeycomb shell, I can't tell if this is just raw plastic or if it has some sort of coating on it, but it feels really nice on the hand. Um, it's not abrasive at all. And this honeycomb also doesn't bother me. Sometimes it kind of digs into your skin or, or kind of chafes it, but this is actually really nice, so I don't mind it at all on this particular mouse. And there's quite a bit of of solid siding. The front switches are also completely solid. And I don't like it when they have a um, honeycomb right in this section right here. That always seems to chafe um, this part of my finger. And the rest of the features, it has a Pixar 3370 sensor, which you know is like a broken record. We keep seeing that on all these flagship mice. And the implementation on it is excellent. The DPI goes up to 19,000 and has a pulling rate of 1,000 hertz. My copy came defaulted to 500, which seems to be pretty common now. Battery life is excellent on this mouse. I got nothing to complain about it. As for the build quality of this mouse, it's pretty solid. There's a little bit of side flex, a little bit on top. Um, none really on the bottom. There's a very little pre and post travel. It's pretty, it's pretty good actually. This is how the buttons sound. Overall, really solid mouse. All right, here's the software for the Titan. It's pretty basic. Uh, one thing I like to point out, uh, I had adjusted this debounce time um, all the way down to zero. And I think it was defaulted as four. But anyways, when I did it to zero, um, when I would press mouse one and mouse two, um, half the time it wouldn't register those clicks. So at first I, I, I thought something was wrong with the buttons, but then I, I realized, oh, well, I had adjusted the debounce time. and went back in here and changed it to four. Problem went, problem went away. So uh, that may not happen to you, but um, if, that, if, if you start missing um, clicks, then just come back and move the debounce back up. Of course you got the normal key bindings that you can change right here over here you got the looks like there's six stages of dpi you can change the color you can change the uh, dpi speeds i typically don't go past 1600 dpi effects are right here if you want to adjust that uh, the lod comes defaulted at one millimeter which is works great um, right here is where you can adjust the pulling rate i keep it at a thousand I suggest you do too. And if for some reason this is clicked, then make sure that's unclicked, but it wasn't by default. Um, macros right here, if you use them, I don't usually use them. And here's all the different um, RGB effects. Pretty basic, but it's it's a nice clean software. I don't have any problem with it. And then right there's the uh, battery indicator. So that's pretty much it for the software. Anyways, this is a really fun mouse. It's a it's a very uh, unique and interesting shape. And I think this is a mouse that either love it or hate it. And I was quite surprised by it. I didn't think I would like it, honestly, but I definitely like it. It fits my hand really well. Super light, controls really well. And thank goodness for um, Lethal Gaming Gear's glass feet. Like I said, if you, if you have a, an issue with the feet, you can just buy the uh, 
the glass feet for the Vaxi mouse. And I'll probably be doing a little bit more in-depth review of these glass feet. I have a couple extra feet, one for an in-game mouse, and I bought another one to replace these so I could put it on my Vaxi mouse. So I think I'll probably do a review with the in-game uh, mouse and the, uh, the Vaxi mouse with the glass feet. So overall, what do I think of this mouse? I think it's a banger of a mouse. Um, I do have some concerns about it. I definitely have QC concerns. The fact that the feet are an issue that you'll have to deal with. So, I mean, if you buy that, you, you should know going in that you're probably going to have to replace the feet. Um, it was $15 plus shipping, so about $20 to get the glass feet that I put on there. Uh, I do recommend it because it's the glass feet are really nice and it makes it that much better. But when you add all that up with the cost of this mouse, and that it does make it a rather expensive mouse. So it is on the expensive side. It's very questionable about what kind of support you're going to get with this mouse. So again, I, I kind of almost feel like if you buy this mouse, you're on your own. So definitely don't buy this if money is tight for you or, you know, if you don't really care about those kind of things and you just buy lots of toys, then yeah, you might like this mouse. But someone who's conscious about um, what you spend and how much you have to spend, you know, I would definitely be wary of this mouse. There's um, a lot safer options uh, than this. So definitely be careful. But if, like I said, if, if you got money to spend and you want a really cool mouse to play with, that's fun. Because this mouse is really, really fun. I enjoy using it. Um, I didn't think I would, but it's quite surprising and I love it. But again, it's hard to recommend because those issues of support and then having to replace the feet and uh, who knows, you know, long term if this thing's going to hold up. I definitely don't know that. Uh, I will do a follow up review in a few months because I'll be using this quite often and I'll let you know if it's held up well, if I still um, recommend it for, for anyone. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate uh, if you lift the like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please go do so, so you don't miss out on any great uh, upcoming content, which I have lots of. Uh, so anyways, stay safe out there and see you next time.